Covering local news first for Carolina's family. This is 7 News at 10. I was kind of shaken to know that this really happened. A mother shot several times in her own home. It led to three schools going on lockdown today. Due West police say three men responsible for this violent home invasion ran away after it happened. 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin was out there today. She was gathering information about what's happened, and she's joining us live here at 7 on Main in downtown Greenville with a lot more on what they're discovering. Kirsten. Well, Tom, Amy, police brought out canines earlier today to try to track those men down, but couldn't find anything. Tonight, a mother is in the hospital recovering from those gunshot wounds with her daughter by her side. Grab my cell phone and I start walking. Eddie Richardson says he pulled in his driveway off Johnson Street only to be greeted by a swarm of cop cars. When I got home from work, I seen all those vehicles. And I said, uh oh, this is real. This is real. Across the road, Due West police, with the help of investigators from the state law enforcement division, searching his neighbor's property after they say a mother living there was shot several times by three home intruders, all fully clothed, wearing masks, and likely carrying weapons. It's so chaotic to know that when you come home and seeing this, who could do this? According to police chief David Maxwell, the woman's daughter was home at the time the masked men broke in just before noon on Monday. It was that daughter who called police for help after the men fired off shots at her mom and ran outside. They were on foot when they left the residence. Uh, whether or not they had a car that was close in the area, I'm not sure. Police quickly sounding the alarm, putting three schools on lockdown. Erskine College, Dixie High School, and Cherokee Trail Elementary. But with no leads on where the men went, police and people in the area like Richardson hope someone will say something that may lead to their arrests. You're going to keep, keep continuing to run. You're going to get caught. You're going to get caught. And the mother, we're told, was airlifted to GHS today. We have reached out, but have not heard any update on her condition tonight. Yeah, I sure hope she's going to be okay, Kirsten. All right, let's talk about... Who did this? Do they have any suspects? Do they have any reason to believe that the people who did this have a connection to the house or the person? Yeah, that's something that they're looking into. At this point, they don't know if there's any relationship between that mother and the three men that were inside, whether they knew each other or not. But they're also looking into see if anything was taken from the home. Earlier today, that answer was no. They didn't believe so, but they were still searching okay. and checking up on that as well. All right. Well, we know we'll stay up to date with it. Thank you, Kirsten. A suspect is 